Hello, Sergeant. I'm your new recruit. Come to serve your country, have you, sir? That's very noble of you, sir. Tell me, have you signed your army contract, sir? Certainly have. There it is. Right, you horrible little man! Why aren't you in uniform? You're a disgrace to the army. Here, put this jacket on. It's not very camouflage, is it? Of course it isn't. We want your mates to be able to see you easily and not shoot you when you're on a smoky battlefield. Well, won't the enemy be able to easily see me on the battlefield? Of course they will. They'll be standing 50 yards away in a straight line shooting at you. That's how Georgian armies fight. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Get your knees up, you horrible little man. The army thrives on discipline. You will be practicing drill three hours a day, every day, and you will like it. Recruits, halt! <sighs> you hungry, son? Good. It's time for your rations. Oh, good. Huh? Oh, it's covered in maggots. Oh, you'll get used to that. I call that extra meat rations. That's good old, honest Georgian army food, that is. Right. Time for rifle practice. I will now present you with your weapon. It's called a brown bess. Lovely, isn't she? Cool. May I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hold it up to your shoulder and pull the trigger. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. You're left-handed, aren't you? You can only fire the brown bess with your right hand. Otherwise, a flash goes off in your face. <laughs> I don't want to be in the army anymore. Oh, it's too late for that, son. You're mine for the next ten years. Now, on the double. Quick march! Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right! Oh. We've got these rations. That's more for me. Oh, look, there's a beetle there. Yeah. Mm. I like the crunchy shell. Oh, that's lovely, that is. Mm. Gorgeous Georgians. In Georgian times, Britain developed the strongest navy in the world. But they needed lots of people to man all the ships. These days, I'm a successful Georgian sailor working in the Royal Navy. But not so long ago, I was a lazy, no-good, drunken lowlife. A bit like this lad. Hello. You're my best mate. My story could be your story too. Would you like the chance to sail the seven seas? Get whipped whenever the captain feels like it. Have your injured limb hacked off with a saw by a drunk doctor? Or eat biscuits teeming with creepy crawlies? No? Well, tough. This is the 1700s, so we'll just wait until you're too drunk to stand, then one of our press gangs will kidnap you and take you on board. What's going on? Come on, are you? You're God. still my best oh, mate. Get the scum aboard. The Georgian Royal Navy, bravely defending Britain's empire with some people found lying on the floor of the local tavern. A gorgeous Georgian lady is quite a sight to see for some splendid beauty tips pay attention listen to me why it is beautiful dear ladies smear your face with paint of lead never mind the lead has made the men who mixed it ill or dead Take some silk of red or black, cut a circle or a crescent, stick it to your face to cover smallpox scars, it's much more pleasant. Shave your eyebrows clean away, take a trap and catch some mice, make false eyebrows with the mouse skin, stick them on, you'll look so nice. Next you need a monster wig If you want to look real smashing When your wig has reached the roof Then you'll be the height of fashion Decorate your lovely hairpiece Use the feathers of a parrot Add some ribbons, fruit and flowers from your ear, then hang a carrot. Make your face look soft and chubby, pack your mouth with balls of cork, hang your false teeth in the middle, hope you don't choke when you talk. Now you followed my advice, Last of all, you need a fan. Flatter it oh so demurely, then your 
Georgian Showbiz News. We've got all the latest news on all the latest stars. Coming up later, we've got Samuel Bissett. Awesome! Yes, the Georgian entertainer who taught his dog to dance with a monkey is back with his new act. A tortoise who can fetch like a dog. Cute! Fetch! Fetch! Get the ball! And we've got an exclusive report on the death of circus exhibit Daniel Lambert. Sad face. The 52 Stone Man Mountain passed away last week and there were tears at his funeral. Oh no, I'm not a relative. I didn't even know the man. I just put me back out carrying his coffin. But first, you won't believe it. I gotta meet Daniel Wildman. That's right, the Daniel Wildman, London beekeeper and showman extraordinaire. Check me out. Daniel's act involves riding a horse whilst wearing a mask of bees. And he's certainly got the whole of Georgian Britain buzzing. Daniel, hi. I was going to give you a showbiz kiss, but I think I better keep my distance. <laughs> Don't worry, my bees won't sting you. I've got them well trained. What's this? Awesome. How do you do it? I've tied a thread around the queen bee. Pull her around and the others just follow. Simple. Are you sure they won't sting? They sound kind of angry. Relax. If they do get out of control... You're going to shoot them? No, no, no. One shot from this, and I can send them all back to their hive. Ta-da! Great. Now, Daniel, you've got a new book out? The Complete Guide for the Management of Bees Throughout the Year? What's it about? Ow! I thought you said your bees wouldn't sting me. It's not one of my bees. <clears throat> this is Penny Bell with Bee Man Daniel Wildman, and I've just been stung. Oh, and that's five shillings for the book. Twice. The Court of Historical Law is now in session, prosecuting today all the way from Russia. It's Tsar Peter III. Actually, I'm not quite Tsar yet. OK, the future Tsar Peter III. Srazvichi. And the accused appears to be a rat. Are you seriously going to bring legal proceedings against a rat? Of course not. It will be a military hearing with a view to court martial. OK. So, Mr. Rat. Assuming you are a rat, and that is not an elaborate disguise. So, sorry, what would disguise itself as a rat? A mouse with delusions of grandeur. Good point. Mr. Rat, I put it to you that on the night of May 15th, you chewed the head off of General Balachin. Chewed his head off? How is that even possible? A question best put to my first witness. Please, call to the stand, Corporal Harkov. Call Corporal Harkov. Corporal Harkov, did you witness the wishes head chewing of Major General Belachin? Yes, indeed I did. And can you identify the rat or mouse in rat's costume anywhere in this courtroom today? It's him. He did it. No further questions. Couldn't help noticing your witness appears to be a toy figure. And an excellent soldier. So you basically found a rat chewing one of the toy soldiers from your toy fort in your bedroom, and you are now giving it a full military trial. Nothing less than the monster deserves. Do you think... That we should move on to sentencing. Excellent idea. So, I hereby court-martial you and sentence you to hang by the neck. Well, this can't get any weirder. Using these tiny little gallows that I built specially. Yeah, it could. It could get weirder. You stand there, you get a nice view. Three, 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 three.